water. Mm. Oh, I've just had ever such a funny dream. Mm. I dreamt I was pregnant. <laughs> and, our, and our baby was having a party in my womb. <laughs> it didn't last very long. Did he run out of booze? Mm. It was ever such a lovely party, Carter. We had Burt Bacharach records and sandwiches with a crust cut off. And the baby got my womb beautifully furnished. It was all angle poised lamps and contemporary pelmets. I'm smashing. I wish I'd been there. You were. All right. And a holy show you made of me too. You know what you did? What? Swung on the pelmets and wet me nappy. <laughs> you was dancing all night, cheek to cheek, with Linda Preston. Give over, will you? I felt ashamed, humiliated. Fancy dancing with another woman in your own wife's womb, whatever. <laughs> Please say it, woman. Our baby's having a Tupperware party in my womb next Tuesday. <laughs> Will you come? No, I'll be playing snooker in me Uncle Mort's nightmare. <laughs> Get over on your own side of bed, will you? Here, <laughs> give us some cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Move over! <laughs> Take your knee out of me back. I heard that. <laughs> You're on my side of the bed. Move over. I'm not on your side of the bed. Pardon. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> this bed is four foot six inches wide. <laughs> That's two foot three for you. <laughs> and two foot three for me. At this moment, you are occupying three foot nine inches. Right then, give me back my 18 inches. <laughs> 18 inches! Oh, God. We know you've gone deaf, you've not gone metric and all, have you? Now? <laughs> Move on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Right. Now look here. That's the demarcation. <laughs> you stick on that side, I'll stick on this side. <laughs> Bloody hell, we need a United Nations peacekeeping force in here. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> now what are you doing? I'm cuddling up to you. Pardon. I'm cold. Pardon. It's no good. <laughs> sleeping with you, it's worse than sleeping with a bloody ferret. <laughs> you, you've got a cold and nose and all. I heard that. Pardon? <laughs> Where are you going? Downstairs Pardon? to see if Dog will give me a share of his basket. <laughs> well, I didn't know insomnia were contagious. It's not. It's the wife. She wants me to kiss her. <laughs> so it is mine. Good God, I thought they put stuff at drinking water to stop things like that. <laughs> Kissing. <laughs> That's what you'll be doing tomorrow night. Oh, no, Wes. Oh, no. I served all through First World War. I went over at top at some. I fought hand hand at Vimy Ridge. But never, never was I called on to do anything as horrendous as kissing Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. What's that? Listen. Is it Danny scratching us, eh? <laughs> it's a knock at the door. Oh. Shall I go and answer it then? Uh, if it's anyone we know, don't let him in. <laughs> Just think, Liz, this time tomorrow, I shall be married. Well, if I was you, I'd eat a hearty breakfast. Oh. <laughs> They'll come for me in that big black limousine. They'll take me in through them grim grey doors into room with bars on the wind and the registrar will look at me and he'll say hey up it's mrs uh, 
Mrs. Uh... Macclesfield, love, and I've brought Mr. Fallowfield too. Evening, you should all. I've just cut my thumb on your front door knocker. You can expect a letter from my solicitor. What are you doing here? Well, he took me home, did Mr. Fallowfield, and while we was walking round the crematorium criticising the urns, he asked me to marry him. I had to inform him that I was already promised to you. Oh, don't let a little thing like that stand in your way. But then he made a wonderful suggestion, did Mr. Fallowfield. Oh, huh? He said that tomorrow morning you and me and him should report at Bowling Green and you and him would have a match and the winner would have as his prize my hand in marriage. Are you any good at bowling? <laughs> Oh, yes, a marvellous. I've won umpteen cups for it. Right, then. You're on. 